in electrical and electronic systems, reactance is the opposition of a circuit element to a change in current or voltage, due to that element's inductance or capacitance. A built-up electric field resists the change of voltage on the element, while a magnetic field resists the change of current. The notion of reactance is similar to electrical resistance, but it differs in several respects. In phasor analysis, reactance is used to compute amplitude and phase changes of sinusoidal alternating current going through a circuit element. It is denoted by the symbol. An ideal resistor has zero reactance, whereas ideal inductors and capacitors have zero resistance a euro that is, respond to current only by reactance. The magnitude of the reactance of an inductor rises in proportion to a rise in frequency, while the magnitude of the reactance of a capacitor decreases in proportion to a rise in frequency. As frequency goes up, inductive reactance goes up and capacitive reactance goes down. Capacitive reactance Capacitive reactance is in opposition to the change of voltage across an element. Capacitive reactance is inversely proportional to the signal frequency and the capacitance. A capacitor consists of two conductors separated by an insulator, also known as a dielectric. At low frequencies a capacitor is an open circuit so no current flows in the dielectric. A DC voltage applied across a capacitor causes positive charge to accumulate on one side and negative charge to accumulate on the other side. The electric field due to the accumulated charge is the source of the opposition to the current. When the potential associated with the charge exactly balances the applied voltage, the current goes to zero. Driven by an AC supply, a capacitor will only accumulate a limited amount of charge before the potential difference changes polarity and the charge dissipates. The higher the frequency, the less charge will accumulate and the smaller the opposition to the current. Inductive reactance Inductive reactance is in opposition to the change of current through an element. Inductive reactance is proportional to the sinusoidal signal frequency and the inductance. The average current flowing through an inductance in series with a sinusoidal AC voltage source of a MS amplitude and frequency is equal to. Because a square wave has multiple amplitudes at sinusoidal harmonics, the average current flowing through an inductance in series with a square wave AC voltage source of a MS amplitude and frequency is equal to. Making it appear as if the inductive reactance to a square wave was about 19% smaller than the reactance to the AC sine wave, any conductor of finite dimensions has inductance. The inductance is made larger by the multiple turns in an electromagnetic coil. Faraday's law of electromagnetic conduction gives the counter mth due to a rate of change of magnetic flux density through a current loop. For an inductor consisting of a coil with loop this gives. The counter mth is the source of the opposition to current flow. A constant direct current has a zero rate of change and sees an inductor as a short circuit. An alternating current has a time averaged rate of change that is proportional to frequency, this causes the increase in inductive reactance with frequency. Impedance Both reactance and resistance are components of impedance. Where, is the impedance, measured in ohms? Is the resistance, measured in ohms? It is the real part of the impedance, is the reactance, measured in ohms? It is the imaginary part of the impedance, is the square root of minus 1, usually represented by a non-electrical formulas. When both a capacitor and an inductor are placed in series in a circuit, their contributions to the total circuit impedance are opposite. Capacitive reactants and inductive reactants contribute to the total reactants as follows. Where, is the inductive reactants, measured in ohms? Is the capacitive reactants, measured in ohms, is the angular frequency, times the frequency in hertz. Although and are both positive by definition, the capacitive reactance makes a negative contribution to total reactance. Hence, if, the total reactance is said to be inductive. If, then the impedance is purely resistive. If, the total reactance is said to be capacitive. Equals phase relationship equals, the phase of the voltage across a purely reactive device lags the current by radians for a capacitive reactance and leads the current by radians for an inductive reactance. 
without knowledge of both the resistance and reactance the relationship between voltage and current cannot be determined. The origin of the different signs for capacitive and inductive reactance is the phase factor and the impedance. For a reactive component the sinusoidal voltage across the component is in quadrature with the sinusoidal current through the component. The component alternately absorbs energy from the circuit and then returns energy to the circuit, thus a pure reactance does not dissipate power. References, Shamaya C. and McCum G., Electronics for Dummies, John Wiley & Sons, 2011. Medar, Foundations of Electronics, Sengage Learning, 2002. Pohala W. Elektrizita Currency Tzlu. A Euro Berlin Gar Paragraph Tingen Heidelberg, Springer Verlag, 1960. Popov VP. The Principles of Theory of Circuits. A Euro M. Higher School, 1985, 496 p. Car 1 quarter PFMA 1 quarter Lair K. Ein for 1 quarter Rung and Die Theoretische Elektrotechnique, Springer Verlag. 1959. Young, Hugh D. Roger A. Friedman. A. Lewis Ford, 1949. Sears and Zeminski's University Physics. San Francisco, Addison Wesley. ISBN 0-8053-9179-7. Owen, D. Basic Engineering Circuit Analysis, page 274. New York, John Wiley and Sons. Incorporated, HTTP, Hyperphysics phi AST Arxu Edu Frame HTML. See also, Bioelectrical Impedance Analysis, Electrical Measurements, Susceptance, Magnetic Reactance. External links, Interactive Java Tutorial on Inductive Reactance National High Magnetic Field Laboratory, Reactance Calculator.